So I want to explain a tiny bit of notation to do with this topic differentiation, and it's this thing here, dy by dx. That's the way you say it, dy by dx. It just kind of means, when you say, you know when you divide something by something else, that's, what, that's where the by comes from. So it means dy divided by dx. And basically, it represents the gradient of a graph at any point on that graph. They're usually a curvy graph, because that's what differentiation is good for. Okay, so I want to talk about what that means, where it comes from, and to do that, I need to talk to you about a certain experiment. I want to f do an experiment to find out what's the best way to find a gradient at this point P on my curvy line. It's some general random line which has got the general equation Y equals FX. Okay. Now, the way you're supposed to find the steepness in, on a curvy line is by drawing an accurate tangent. A tangent is simply a straight line which simply just touches your curvy graph at that point. So, where I, if I want to find out the gradient at this point P, okay, I draw a tangent at that point P, and the gradient of that tangent is a gradient at that point P. Now, it's very hard to draw a tangent because it's not supposed to cross the graph, the curvy graph. It's supposed to just touch it, and that's basically pretty much impossible to do unless you're really, really, really accurate. Okay, so don't be put off yet. I'm going to start off by, so my experiment begins by picking a point that's not so close to point P, the point at which I'm trying to find the gradient of, a, uh, of this line. Um, and I draw a line through point P, through this random point that's not so close to point P, and I call that my rubbish tangent, my inaccurate tangent. And that very roughly tells me the gradient at point P. Because it's an inaccurate, in, it inaccurately tells me the gradient at point P. Now then if I pick another point, which is much, much closer to point P, it tells me much, much more accurately the gradient at point P. So this becomes quite an accurate tangent. But you can see there's kind of it's crossing the the graph, the curvy graph, this straight line here, not actually just touching it. But if you're infinitely close, yeah? If this point is infinitely close to this point, then it will no longer cross the graph, the curvy graph, it will just touch the curvy graph, just like a tangent is supposed to. Okay, and at that point, you'll be the smallest distance x away from there. So the, 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 the difference between these points in terms of x value will be dx, that's what we call it. And the difference in y values will be dy. And dy divided by dx will tell you the gradient of such a line. Because when you find out, the, to work out the gradient of a line, you work out the up distance divided by the across distance. So dy is the smallest change in y, and dx is the smallest change in x, and, they represent, and dividing the two, like this, basically tells you the gradient at that point p. So that's where dy by dx comes from.